Experience is definitely one of the things that we found companies that are winning are doing. Disney is one of those companies that understands experiences and has for 100 years. Long before technology was ever part of the experience creation process, Disney has always understood. They have two rules. Disney has two rules when it comes to their employees in their company. The first rule is to create magic. The second rule is to pick up the trash. Some of you may have heard this before, but I like sharing this when I talk about experiences because this to me is one of the, it's the absolute perfect example of how a company can do something very simple to create an experience that is going to be meaningful, right? Why pick up the trash? Nobody wants to go to a dirty, disgusting park. And I'll say, there's other companies that have awesome theme parks with rides that I would say are much, much better than what Disney has ever created. I'll say that, I feel good about saying that. But they've never been as popular, they've never been as profitable because they've never had the same experience focus. Now, before data and analytics, by the way, this goes way back, right? So now it's pretty easy. You put cameras all over the park, you use machine learning, you look at people, you figure out where you need to locate trash cans, right? But Disney, actually, before all that technology was available, wanted to create this great clean park experience. You know what they did? They put their employees in the middle of the park. They had them watch people all day long, go to the concession stand and pick up a hot dog, okay? These people would buy a hot dog and then the counters would have a little clipboard in their hand and they would watch how many steps the consumer took between the time they finished their hot dog and the time they littered on the, on the park. And then they actually measured that over a period of time, created a large enough sample set to say 25 steps. Every 25 steps, we need to put a garbage can because if we make people walk more than 25 cents after buying a $14 hot dog with their $9 bottle of water, they're gonna throw trash on the ground. If they throw trash on the ground, the park gets dirty. If the park gets dirty, people don't wanna pay $250 for a day pass to ride on mediocre rides, right? You're paying so that when your daughter walks into the restaurant, the princess knows her name, walks up to her, gives her a hug, they serve them the meal that they love, the kids eyes light up, the pictures go on Facebook, you get that adrenaline rush of likes that come with every time you post something, right? And the series goes on and on.